Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on 790 The Bet. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency and Wally Hatchet's Comfort Food and Drinks at 6439 Summer Avenue. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. Hope everybody uh, is having a, a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend and got plenty of uh, turkey and everything else and all the trimmings. I'm so full, I think I want to take a nap. No, no, you want to take, it's too early to take a nap. We yeah, it really to, is. We've already talked food, you know. That was enough. To, uh, we threw in the prime rib. That did it for me. I, that, that, that went right over my head. And we're talking right now uh, about uh, one of our favorite places to go for me and Ron and uh, the recent TOWA, Tennessee Outdoor Riders Conference, was at Blue Bank Resort. But all of us uh, had a chance to meet uh, – some good folks from uh, from Real Foot that uh, have spent a long time on the lake, whether they're guiding for fish or whether they're guiding for ducks. And one of those that we're going to kick out with on this show this morning is uh, is Kyle Homra, and Kyle is and his family have been uh, in the guide service has been in operation. I think Kyle. Since 1983, Ron said it was 1883. No, I, I didn't. Yeah, I thought he said 1993, but uh, good morning. How you doing, Kyle? All pretty good. Yeah, we got started there around 93, 94, somewhere in there. That's amazing. Now, did you grow up on the in that area? I did. My dad got it for years, and then he he uh when we were when we grew up, he wanted to raise us hunting and fishing, so he got out of the guiding pretty much. So we got older, and then he got back into it. He didn't figure nobody wanted to hunt fish with a bunch of kids, so he wanted to raise us to hunt. <laughs> and that's you and your brother, right? I mean, you and that's your brother. That's me and my brother. Yes, and you guys have been doing it for a while. And I know when I got the chance to, to meet uh, Kyle, thanks to Ron, uh, got to meet Kyle, and I saw that last name, and I said, oh, man, he, I know another homer, and I hope we don't get into discussions about his Uncle Alex, okay? <laughs> I mean, because uh, uh, yeah. I he can tell some stories on me now, Kyle. If you ask your uncle, don't believe everything he says about me, okay? I mean, uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna ask him. Yeah. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna ask him about you. You ask him about it. I have I have eaten a lot. A few, I've spent some money at the rib cage there in Pickwick, okay? But uh, <laughs> thanks for doing this, and and Ron, you you know Alex, and uh, and, and he made available time for us at the TOWA, and. Uh, and I appreciate that, Ron, and yeah, I know you do, too. Yeah. Absolutely, and, and thank you very much for your time, Kyle. And, you know, you grew up on the lake there, a beautiful lake. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people always ask me, you know, how do I get a hold of somebody to fish for crappie up there, <laughs> some of the guide services and everything. But, you know, you are a uh, what you call a full-service <laughs> guide service yes kyle tell us about your guide service uh whether it's crappie and then go into your ducks also yeah well, what we do yeah we uh you know for years everybody's rented the boats and went out that way and as, as fishing got tougher and, and technology come on uh, it, it's it's not quite as productive and a lot of people went to hiring guides a lot more actually yes yeah if we just you know a lot of places you got to go through that package and we decided to just build our own lodging, and that way you don't have to rent the package. You just rent the guide package and go that way. Mm-hmm. You don't have to bring no equipment, bring no boat, or bring nothing. You can get in a, a little Kia if you want to and drive the real foot and go fishing. Well, and we th- provide everything, and it's all in one package price. And I think yeah, you, you talk can, about yeah. that. Is that yeah. lodging you have also? And Yes, sir. That's lodging. It, it's not right on the water, but it's right across from the Kirby's Pocket State Park. Area. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Great place. Yeah, yeah. And and you, you were... How how old were you when you got into this? When you how old were you started guiding? I'd like to know that. Uh, I start. I carried my first trip when I was sixteen years old. Come on, come on. Did you <laughs> have to? You couldn't even drive, man. Come on now. I mean, uh, oh, yeah. well, I was working. On, I was working on the boat dock. And these guys wasn't having no luck catching fish, so uh-huh. I didn't know what I at the time. But I grew <laughs> up with that fishing everywhere, and they said, "Hey, won't you go with us?" And I got the boat with them. We went and hit a couple in bluegill beds, and boy, they was. Fired up. All of a sudden, <laughs> the the guide service started again. And again, we're talking to Kyle Homer uh, of the Homer Guide Service on Real Foot and uh, Lake, whether it's hunting or fishing. And and I noticed one thing, Kyle, uh, when I looked through, uh, and, and you got a, a really nice website. What's what's the, what's the name of your website? What's that website? Real Guides. 
real fo- Yes, and a, it's a good looking guy uh, website. Uh, a lot of folks don't just throw things together. I, I can tell you guys do put patience into your website, which is very important. And I noticed not only do you uh, uh, do your fishing and of course the waterfowl hunting, you do some eagle tours and things like that. But I noticed one thing, and I'm going to tell Ron about this because a lot of people don't don't think <laughs> about this. And I noticed, and I may be wrong. Listen to this. Now, this, this, we're going to call cropping just a minute, Ron, but I saw this. For a hunting trip, kids age 15 and under are allowed for free. Yes, wow. sir. Uh, yeah, when you, when you picked a, uh, a dad made that rule. He said no man ought to have to go, go hunt, uh, decide not to go hunting because he couldn't afford to carry his kid. My, and all, yeah. And, age, for, and, and for a age. fishing trip, kids age 10 and under are allowed to fish for free. Yes, sir. That's that's that says a lot well, about your guide, sir. I do, Ron, it does to me. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, <laughs> that's really very impressive. Yeah. And the fact that uh, you guys are trying to grow the fishing industry, and you know, I, I wish so many more people would be that thoughtful. And that's very, very thoughtful, very impressive. Of you guys doing that. You know, Kyle. Um, you know, duck season's here, um, and you guys are a full service uh, uh, duck hunting uh, ser- uh, guide service. Also, do you have any dates left? I have about seven or eight dates left there in the first two weeks of December, but that's about it. Woo! And where do where do they find that information? Yeah, now on it? yeah. I think they can give me a call on my cell. It's seven three one three three five zero seven six four. You can get on Facebook, Instagram, give us a message, email. I mean, there's a million ways to get hope to somebody. There is out now, isn't there? It wasn't that way when you were growing up, Kyle. Come on now. It's been a lot of hours in front of that little landline telephone. Right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> or call and collect to your dad someplace, you know. But uh, when you do that, but i got to ask you now, I, I know everybody's cranking up for duck hunting and things like that. Everybody had a great time crappie fishing, Kyle, and uh, that's an experience in the fall. Uh, that people can still they can book trips uh, next spring, can't they? I mean, you you guys oh, are yeah. Ready. yeah. Talk about the what you offer as a fishing guide. Well, what it is, uh, our package is, is five hundred dollars. That's for that's for two people. Yeah, you, you come down, spend the night, get up. That's lodging. That's lodging too, right? That's lodging. Wow, lodging and fishing included. And 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 the boat you use, I mean. Uh, uh, Eighteen to twenty foot long. They'll fish two or three people comfortable, and then of course all you, all your gear and all your tackle provided. Wow! Bait. Yeah, yeah. And so, what did you like, uh, spring or cro- uh, fall? I always ask Ron this for crappie fishing. Well, What's your favorite? I, when the fish is biting, usually. But I'm, a, <laughs> I'm getting to ready to duck hunt this time of year. I usually cut it off about the second week of November. Okay. All right. And, and then I'll start back up about the. It depends on the weather. If the weather breaks, I'll be I'll be fishing in February. If it's going to be a cooler February March, I'll be chasing the the uh, something the, else. The, the white birds, the snow geese. We'll yes, you will. Them. Yeah, yeah. And, we'll and, the conservation season, but as soon as the weather breaks, we'll start back crappie fishing. Right, and then when it gets into summertime, you guys will also take uh, uh, folks out to uh, catch too. big old bluegills on real foot too, won't you? Yes, sir. Yeah, that, that's the time, and that, that's a great family trip. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. Kids fishing free, it's worth it to me. When you watch a, you watch a ten year old kid hook a bluegill weighs thirteen ounces, double <laughs> pole over and really yeah. in, you got paid right there. Yeah. Oh well, that that that, that uh, a seventy nine year old geezer like me, man. Come on, I get I, I, I get thrilled on that just to, just to hear you it. Know, I love and you catch, fish the lily oh. pads? Do you fish the lily pads too? I mean, are you? Wait now. Now we're jigging the pads usually in March. March, April, okay. When, That's what I want to know. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm a lily pad man, but but your boat. Uh, what about your boat? Describe your boat to us, uh, as far as what you yeah. got on that thing. I've got a 19 foot Stratus with a with a Yamaha on it. Okay. Of course, it's a Garmin. Got a Garmin trolling motor and, and uh, all the electronics, and I got about everything you need to catch a fish. Yeah. Yeah, now, I got to ask you something, Kyle. Ask him. Forward-facing sonar, uh, yeah. <laughs> live scope. Has that changed your changer. life? It's a game changer is what it is. It is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, yeah, it's, uh, but it's got its pros and cons. You know, it gets people in the outdoors. It's really sparked a big interest in the sport. Now, I like that. Yeah, yeah. The more no. we get into it, the more we can get. I mean, that all that all equals money for for conservation and programs to help aid everybody. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And Kyle, you know, for somebody to just go out with you to learn, you're able to teach them too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you spend enough time on the water in front of one of them things, you learn a lot from it. You do, don't you? And uh, I, I assume, do you know most of the stumps in real foot, Kyle? I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've hit most of them. At some point. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make sure if anybody experiences a, a real foot, it is known for its stumps. Uh, and I'm assuming. What? Go ahead. It is that. And is that there's stumps everywhere, but we. We really appreciate you, Kyle, taking time to be with us this morning on Outdoors of Larry Ray. And, again, thank you for being a part of the Tennessee Outdoor Riders Association uh, and, and, and learning a lot, make, make a lot of good friends. And uh, we got your number now, buddy. So we'll be able <laughs> we're to. Be, we're yeah. going to stay in touch. And yes. real quickly, before we let you go, one more time, how do they get a hold of you and your wonderful guide service? Yeah. They can give me a call at 731 731- Three three five zero seven six four. I'm available about any time. Any time. All right. I'm gonna call you about two Thank tomorrow you, morning. I'll call you two in the morning sometime. <laughs> he'll be up. He'll, he'll be, up. be up. Yeah, he'll be up. Get ready for duck hunt. All right, Kyle. Thank you, man. And uh, be sure. Right, buddy. Tell your uncle hello for me and be kind to me. Okay. All right. Yep. All right. Let's take a break on outdoors, Larry Ray. Be right back. <laughs> 